We are back. Let's go get the beacon. That's what we're here for, and this stuff needs to render. Come on, render. Come on. There you go. Got them all. Or did we? Yes, we got them all. Perimeter clear. All right. Uh, Star weapons. <clears throat> Whatever. They don't really need anything. Spectre weapons are the best weapons. Any weapons you pick up that aren't spectre at this point are like pointless. Right, I'm hoping to find us some armor. I don't like scram rails because I'm the kind of guy who just like sees an enemy sprays the enemy open this up see what's in there uh, whatever my god it's like someone dropped a bomb that must be where the Geth ship landed Hmm. A logic arrest tool. I don't think that's as good as what I have. But it may be good for Caden. What's he got? It's a little bit slower on the tech cooldown, but he's got a med recharge bonus and most importantly a shield bonus. So we'll give that to Caden. I'm gonna have to do some inventory management. But I'm going to do that off screen. Alright. There's our beacon. Prothean beacon. Activate. No, it says investigate. Alright, so let's investigate. Normandy. The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Immediate... Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it.
The voice of Venezia is Counselor Troy from Star Trek Next Generation. What I find interesting is I went to a Star Trek convention where she was the speaker and she talked Doctor, to uh, Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Well, since I don't know how this uh, video character is feeling, I'll probably pick the middle one. But as I was saying about the uh, Counselor Troy, she noted in the, her talk at the convention that it was interesting how uh, the character of Counselor Troy uh, apparently grew some brains once she lost the cleavage. Once they re put her in a different uniform where she wasn't showing all this cleavage, all of a sudden she became a much more interesting, uh, smarter, more self-assured character. <laughs> and and here she is, well, although she's just a voice, but the character she's voicing has got this enormous rack, as a theater calls it. Anyway, how am I feeling? The hell if I know what's going on in Shepard's head. Maybe she's got a headache, maybe not. I don't know. How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. All that Shepard cares about is that beacon. That was her mission. Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. I don't suppose it occurred to you that Eden Prime has medical facilities. Listen, you're better off in this infirmary than in any hospital on Eden Prime. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. Interesting. In this little section, you can actually hear the actor turning the page. And here is a problem I have with Mass Effect 1. Every one of these choices has Shepard saying the exact same thing, so it really doesn't matter which of these you pick. Say that one. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. The death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, so it's, it's, there's going to be a bunch of options here where it doesn't matter what Shepard picks. She's going to say this, what the player picks. Shepard's going to end up saying the same thing. People talk about auto dialogue in Mass Effect 3. Well, basically, you've got auto dialogue going on here. You just actually have to push a button to get it first. I think she's going to be pissed off. She's not feeling bad about Jenkins. Soldiers die. She doesn't even really know Williams very much. She's not going to inquire about her. But she is, like, upset about the fact that they walked into this mess. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invaded. The Council's going to want answers. The upper and middle ones have you saying the same thing. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. 
A rogue Spectre's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Either of these are gonna say the same thing. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? And all three of these say the same thing. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. And these up for two. Oh, actually, I think all three say the same thing. They'll think I'm crazy. Oh. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. Well, I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Well, I was wrong on that last one. The bottom one had you saying something different, but the upper two ones, you say the same thing. And here, I think all of them, you say the same thing. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. Yep. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the council on our side. Now, this probably says something different but these two say the same and I'm gonna pick this one because she's military she follows orders when... we prove Saren's gone rogue and the council will revoke his specter status I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council he'll want to see us as soon as we reach the citadel we should be getting close head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Say it again. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you, too. There's nothing we could have done to save him. No, I know that, but I don't have to like it. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. Whatever's going on, the captain can handle it. Absolutely, Commander. Anything else before we head ashore? Any advice on how to act in front of an ambassador? I don't meet many politicians. An ambassador? I just follow standard operational procedure. Salute anything you can't eat or kill. Good luck, ma'am. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. 
and he cares about the people under his command. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission, but he has an impressive service record, over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. Uh, this is, uh, I'm gonna ask, but Shepard is biotic. She should know about this. They should have maybe worked out this dialogue a little bit better if Shepard was her, him or herself at Biotic, they'd know about this, but I'm going to ask anyway. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. And again, Shepard being a Biotic would know about this. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Hayden's lucky. He just gets migraines. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. When your number comes up, it's over. His did. That's grim, Commander. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, though. Not after Torfin. That must have been hell. I did what I had to do. You'd better be willing to do the same. I won't let the Alliance down, sir. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. Dead Marines, dead colonists. And in the end, we still didn't get that beacon. You saved a lot of lives, Commander. It might be hard to keep that in perspective with what happened to Jenkins. I'm not looking for a shoulder to cry on, Williams. Just stay focused on your job. Understood, ma'am. Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. All right, I'm... What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to end the video, but instead of going right away to speak to Joker, I am going to go down to the shuttle bay and do some inventory management and sell off a whole bunch of equipment, and maybe I just won't be.